Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome to Until Dawn. Unfortunately, this is what the intro sequence of the game is. Not Until Dawn, but a butterfly. And the game hammering you with the idea of choices. Do you know what choices are, kids? This thing is going to explain it to you. Right here. But more seriously, it's a horror game with a sort of choose-your-own-adventure sort of style to it. It's very, very interesting very intriguing and I'm really curious how each of my choices are gonna affect the narrative because I have seen this before I actually watched the entire game on a twitch stream by Nikki Indy I'll leave a description leave a link in the description below for those of you who want to have the same perspective that I have and I'm torn between two ways of playing this game good advice there choose your actions carefully kids very important there are two very different ways of playing this game. I'm going to finish the intro, and then I'll leave you guys... I'll tell you guys what I'm thinking. Oh, a bunch of kids in a cabin. That'll end well. Actually, I kind of would like a log cabin. I like the idea of being, you know, in solitude. Okay, hi, machete guy. Okay. Mm oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, oh, neither can I. Did you guys think this is a little bit oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not she her really mind. doesn't. She's a huge crush on my Hannah's head. been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. And oh, instead of just talking to Hannah, we're, we're gonna do some kind of prank. Oh, this scene. This is a very troubling scene, and it's part of the reason why I am torn between the two ways of playing this game, which again, we'll go over once this introduction is complete. And here Hannah. we have Sam. Yes, it was Sam. <laughs> trying to find Hannah and, uh this. Note the guy in the back who's now in the closet. Had a camera on a little selfie stick. Yeah. Mm. Mike? It's oh, Hannah. Poor Hannah. Hey, Hannah. I feel so bad for the girl. I mean, I think you can kind of get the idea of how that's going to go. And okay, Machete Guy has a new weapon. And goggles. Always hey, like goggles in the character. Goggles are cool, kids. Josh. Oh, Beth. Hey, Josh. You're not Josh. Let's go around. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know, I never explored this area before. It's the, it's the tutorial. They probably don't have anything in there. Oh, whiskey! Whiskey? Whiskey! Yeah. Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. Good job. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. In a terrible, inebriated way. Good job, kiddo. So, moving on. What do we got here? We have... Oh, a thing? A note. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to my guest room at... Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike Triple X. He's not quite that pretentious. Oh He's just God. a bit of an asshole. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Your voice acting could use some work, kiddo. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Hmm. Uh, that face. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Ugh. <laughs> really? You're, you're into that? And no Matt in the back. What are you doing here? With the camera. Uh, Hannah, so they were planning on recording so her much. stripping for the guy she has a crush on. Uh, and presumably uh, uploading it. Jerks. You know jerks? That? That's a bit light. Hannah. I'm pretty sure that's a crime. And if not, it is at least a unforgivably terrible thing. 
Oh, but don't worry. It gets worse. And I'm keeping the percentages of who's done what up. Just to show people. And, yeah, I mean, why bother trying to wake Josh? He's already passed out drunk. What's he gonna do? He gonna stumble into the snow go, Ugh. I care so much about my sister. Prank, Screw you, Emily. What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. Yes, yes, you it was. You were recording a woman stripping Hannah. without her consent. Hannah. That is a serious thing. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. You're the last person anyone should want to see, Mike. You're a terrible person. Oh, shit. Oh, quick time event. All right. Uh, well, mm, fast. Go fast like mongoose. Okay, trying to find our sister. Oh, what? Uh, noise. That seems safe. Maybe she just went by here. And Damn it, Hannah. Agreed. Well, hold on. I never saw the shadow before. I'm... I knew there was this option before, but... I didn't remember seeing the shadow. Huh. It looks suspicious and dangerous. That's why I chose to follow it. And jumping down. And, oh yeah, that's how you know we're in the 21st century. Everybody has an iPhone, and they all depend on it to protect them. Also to provide light. Hannah. Which, actually, I don't think my phone provides this much light. That's kind of great. That is actually a very useful feature to have in a phone. It's like a big, big LED flashlight. I can go for that. So, let's see. Um, oh! Here. Yeah, there's a lot of scares like that. Oh, that's not the L1 button. That's not the L1 button at all. Whoops. Let's try that again, except differently this time. L1 to run faster. Hello? Well, hello? sachet faster. And hello. Ah, the totems. Yes. Yes. No. But I don't have a blue shirt on, so it's not me. So, I'm fine. It's just warning me about, you know, someone else dying. Okay, it's fine. It's good. Actually, is there a way to save... Hmm... I'm gonna try to avoid spoiling anything for you guys, but... Yeah... I am curious if there is a way to prevent a thing from happening shortly. What the hell was that? Agreed, what the hell was... Is that the flamethrower? Why is there a flamethrower? Oh. Hannah. Hmm. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. I made sure to play this at least like a week after the stream, simply so I could, you know, sort of get that out of my brain. I know the broad strokes of the plot, but the details I don't. And... Okay, we're running. There was a sound and there was predator vision. Oh, come on, Hannah. Come on. Get up. There goes the phone. Our iPhone can no longer protect us. We're on our own, people. And I'm in a blue shirt. Oh, no. Um, well, nope, nope. Mm. I mean, why would you back up like that? Hannah, what were you thinking? And there's Flamethrower. Oh, okay, yep. Hey, it's the Pyro from Team Fortress 2. Um, I'm really sorry, but I want to know if this saves anybody. I'm so sorry. 
Bye, Hannah. Nope. Did not save her. Well, there goes that lady spine. Ooh, that seems very uncomfortable. The analyst. I'm analyst. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Quite. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Okay, Dr. Hill. You see, no one can change what happened last year. True, true. Beyond our control. You have to Can't undo the horrible, quote-unquote, prank those kids tried to pull. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this <laughs> as you play your game. Oh. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. They're very big on choice. So, you have committed to commence with this game. I have. This is significant. Hopefully. I want to help you see it through. Thanks, Dr. Hill. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Oh, yeah. Even terrifying, but a little bit. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Mm. Yes, of course. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Will we now? Can you please pick up a card? Oh. I was thinking jumpy jacks, but cards work too. And tell me what you feel about Card lifting, it's the new it exercise of future. That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm. I love that expression on his face, like, mmm, mmm, okay. Card it is. Yeah, see, I kind of like this scene. You know, we got the barn in the background. I like the idea of having my solitude, but at the same time being able to go into the city as I like. So, you know, a little farm or a cabin in the woods. I could go for that. As long as it has internet access. So, which it probably doesn't, but, you know. How did that picture make you feel? I can dream. Remember, be honest. Kind of makes me happy. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Peaceful. You know, we don't have too many crowds around the place. Not too much noise. Would it make you happy to spend the whole Which makes it a lot easier to record things, let's be honest here. Uh, no. No, I, I would rather not spend a weekend or a week all by myself. And why is that? I'm just not okay with that. Because it'd be lonely, you know. I mean, a week seeing nobody else but myself. Is a fine line between the peaceful and the loneliness of isolation. This guy gets it. Weird way to say isolation, though. This is something we need to explore further. Okay, let's do that. Do you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Really? Until the next session, try to surround yourself with I mean, rest. I'll have to go back to the recording, but I think that was like two minutes. You feel safe. You're a terrible psychiatrist. With this, you're not even like dismissing me, you know, having me out the door. Not gonna shake my hand, nothing. How very impersonable. Yeah. Not a fan of him. So, we have an intro sequence, which means I have time to discuss things. So, there are two ways I'm thinking of playing this game. And I just can't quite decide right now. On the one hand, we could play this as, you know, everybody else is playing it. Just keep everybody alive, make the choices that we would want to make. And they do a good job of making you sympathize with these terrible people who got two people killed because of prank, because of... I guess Emily was jealous? I don't know why. I honestly don't know why they decided that prank in particular was a good idea. But we could also choose to get them all killed right away as soon as possible and I'm kind of wanting to do that more so I can see what options the game gives you because in theory you can get these people 
all killed. And can you do that before the second act? How much freedom has the developer given us to make choices that affect the story? I'm really kind of curious about that. Right now, I just can't quite make the choice, though. Something I'm going to debate between now and the next episode. One year later... Um, they didn't just do that. There were reasons they did that. Does he now? My officers did search the grounds, but they decided it was way too creepy. Made it that far. <laughs> Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Mm. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and family. Oh, Josh. Right, let's do that again. You're supposed to edit out the messed up intro. All Come right. on, guy. Awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say I am super excited. Yeah, his audio to quality isn't that bad. Back to the annual Black I wonder what type of mic he's using for getaway. this. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Oh, John. I know you're all probably worried about me. It should and be. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after. What happened last After you got his sisters but killed. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking of them. Thinking of the people I that really you got killed. spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that... We'll never forget, for for the sake of my sisters and who you killed. You know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip. We will never That's a very forget, weird phrase. Right? Do people actually yes. talk like that? <laughs> and his expression on the yes, that's uh, it's good. Nope, back to the song. See, Pyro from Team Fortress 2, right there. I don't know, man. And a pendulum. It's very terrifying. Oh god, totems. And spiders. And a rocking horse, oh no. Actually, wait, where is the rocking horse coming from? Why is that here? Is there any part of this game that has a rocking horse in it? Huh. Well, I'll look around. And yes, we're in Blackwood Pines. Which I'm curious if that's based off a real location now. I mean, presumably no, but... Well. Hmm. Oh, could it be like the name of a writer? Should look up people with the last name Blackwood. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. And we're walking. Hey, Machete Guy's back! Great! I feel perfectly safe already! With Sam, Hannah's best friend. Well, he used to be Hannah's best friend. He's diligent, considerate, adventurous. Good for her. Hello? Anybody there? There is someone there. Don't trust that breathing, but okay. Well, I'm sure this will all end well.